help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. Dear brothers and sisters, if I was to tell you right now, perform a check on your heart. And do you feel like your heart is alive? Do you feel like you have chest pain? Do you feel like you're having a heart attack? You know, SubhanAllah, we live in the era of Google where suddenly if you start to feel something inside that's a little bit wrong, you go online and you search, what is the root cause? Why am I feeling this way? What's happening? And when you think about this from a spiritual perspective, one of the beautiful features of the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is very specific in telling us how to diagnose Amradul Qulub, the diseases of the heart, and then how to cure those very specific diseases. But there's a general check that indicates where you stand, and then you go into the specifics of the Amrad, of the various diseases, and we all struggle, and just like our physical heart, we have to cater to it every single day to make sure that we keep it healthy, or else we can lose it. And I wanted to start with a narration that is attributed to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by Abu Sa'id Al-Khudri Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu but more authentically narrated to Hudayfa Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu He says Al-Qulubu Arba'ah The hearts are of four types Qala Qalbun Ajrad Fihi Mithlu Siraj Yuzhir Wa Qalbun Aghlaf Marbutun Ala Ghilafihi Wa Qalbun Mankus وَقَلْبٌ مصفح. He describes عنه, four types of hearts. The first one is a heart that is ajrad. It is full. Completely focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a heart that shines like a radiating lamp. قَلْبٌ أَجْرَدْ It's full of something beautiful and it radiates light. You know, when you see something that's so beautiful, you can't contain it behind anything. SubhanAllah. The heart is so beautiful and the heart shines with that light. And then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a heart that is sealed, a heart that is sealed and it has a knot tied around its seal. And then he said, Qalbun Mankus, a heart that is upside down. And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and a heart that is, that is wrapped, that is covered with something. Then he went on to say radiallahu ta'ala anhu that as for al-qalb al-ajrad, the heart that is like a polished radiating lamp, qala faqalbu al-mu'min. He said that is the heart of the believer. Sirajuhu fihi nuru. And what is causing it to radiate is the light of faith. And then he goes on to say, wa amma al-qalb al-aghlaf faqalbu al-kafir. As for the heart that is sealed, that is the heart of the disbeliever. وَأَمَّا الْقَلْبُ الْمَنْكُوسِ As for the heart that is turned upside down. فَقَلْبُ الْمُنَافِقِ عَرَفَ ثُمَّ أَنْكَرُ That's the heart of a hypocrite. It knew and then it dumped it. Belief came to it and then it dumped it out like a container is turned upside down. And it dumps out all of the contents that could have cured that heart. وَأَمَّا الْقَلْبُ الْمُصْفَحِ and this is the most interesting one. He said, as for this heart that is wrapped up, it's not sealed, but it's wrapped up. It's a heart that has both iman and nifaq. It's fed by two sources, belief and hypocrisy. As for the faith that is inside of it, the source of faith, it's like you have a stream of pure water that is going inside of it. So you have one stream that's giving it life. You know when you have blockages in the heart? Depending on how many blockages you have, that's going to determine the health of its pulse. Here you have the healthy stream, that stream of pure water that is going inside of it. وَمَثَلُ النِّفَاقِ فِيهِ كَمَثَلِ الْقُرْحَةِ as for the source of hypocrisy that is inside of it, it's like an ulcer. And he goes on to say, that it is fed by pus and blood. And he said, 
So whichever of the two streams is stronger at the moment, that is going to be the feature of the heart. So you have a heart that has some blockage, but it still has Iman inside of it. And this is the majority of people. The majority of people feed their hearts with contradicting sources. And so the heart never really stabilizes. My beloved brothers and sisters, the condition of your Iman is not stable. And there are four types of hearts. Number one, the heart that is completely focused in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It shines like a radiating light. And number two, a heart that is sealed and has a knot tied around it. Number three, a heart that is upside down. And number four, a heart that is wrapped. My dear brothers and sisters, repentance and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will clean your heart and strengthen your Iman. Remove all the envy, jealousy, hatred in your heart. Clean it, purify it and strengthen your heart. Put the love of Allah in your heart. Put the love for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in your heart. And repent to Allah. Seek istighfar. Then you will see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is changing the condition of your heart. When you continuously sin, when you do bad deeds continuously, then a dark spot is there on your heart. And then when you continuously do sin, one after another dark, dark spot falls in your heart and then it becomes really dark it goes to a state that it doesn't want to change anymore so don't make your heart like that change your heart and constantly seek repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the iman of a believer is not always stable it's unstable so when from time to time check your condition of your heart, condition of your Iman. During the time of the companions, they, they used to ask each other, how is the condition of their Iman? The pious predecessors, when they used to meet each other, they used to ask, how is the condition? How is the status of the Iman? Alas, nowadays, we don't care about our Iman much. Let's not forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's not deceived by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's take care of our Iman. Let's strengthen our Iman. Let's build a connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's ask Allah for forgiveness. And let's turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you continuously seek repentance and do istighfar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives your sins. Allah gives you sweetness in your ibadah, in your worship. Allah makes good things easy for you. Allah opens the doors of opportunities for you. So always clean your heart. Make your heart in such a state that it loves doing good deed. It loves doing remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran, Ala bidikrillahi tatma'innul kulub. Verily, in the remembrance of Allah, do hearts find peace. Whenever you see that you are depressed, you are not feeling good, your heart is not feeling good, your iman is low, then at that right moment, turn towards Allah, do repentance and remember Allah, do dhikr, then you'll see that your heart is feeling better. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.